Scorpio. Scorpio, I do not know what happened. I swear. I feel like I have done this video for you guys like three or four times already. And every time I try to upload it, it's like it's pending, it's pending. And then I think it's going to go through and then I go home and I hit messages like what happened to Scorpio. And then there's no, it's, it's, there's no pending. And I keep deleting the goddamn video because I think it goes through. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and redo this and I'm going to keep this video up for the, I'm going to keep it saved for the whole month just in case I have to keep posting it. But I apologize, you guys. I really don't know why. You're the only sign that this happened with. So maybe there's a message that someone needs to hear. Um, and I didn't say it or I didn't say it correctly. So Spirit is like, do it over. Keep doing it till you get it right. So I'm very obedient. So I'm like, okay. Because at first I was going to be like, oh, fuck it, man. <laughs> I ain't going to even lie, y'all. I was going to be like, fuck it. But I was like, you know what? Spirit, sometimes there's reasons why you have to do videos over and it could be because messages don't come through or the messages don't come through clearly or it may be the person that it was supposed to be meant for, There's no you don't connect with them. So maybe the person that this message is for is going to pop on this video this time and see it and we, let's hope and pray. Fingers crossed. All right, Scorpio. So let's see what's going on. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. And I can't even remember what the other messages were. I mean, it was just like, I let it go. I feel like that there's definitely going to be um, some major opportunity that's coming in where you're signing some type of contract. Something with longevity. This could be with a job. This could also be purchasing some type of real estate, a home. But I feel like that you are putting yourself in a position where you're going to be signing some type of paperwork that brings in big... Um, big things for you. Now, we are in Mercury retrograde. You know how it goes. If you were already in the midst of getting something and signing it or whatever, go ahead and do it. If there's something that you're just beginning, hold off on it or either just wait and make sure that the communication is right. Sometimes it's just as simple as having a person look at contracts with you, paying an attorney to look at it because sometimes you just catch little things. And this happened a lot of times with me with Mercury retrograde where it'll be like, okay, okay, I, I read it, I understand it or whatever. And then I'll have a friend go back and look at it. And she's like, no, you missed this. And she'll highlight it. And I missed the whole thing. So for some of you, you may be dealing with that energy. I definitely feel like there's going to be some signing of some type of paperwork. Now, if this is anything to do with legal cases, child custody, child support or whatever, make sure that you read things over. I do feel there's some type of settlement that's gonna be coming your way and this could be having to deal with a lawyer. Make sure that the company and everybody that is participating in this is upstanding where it's like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sign for this, but I want this amount. I want it to be paid the way I want it to be paid. Don't let somebody get in um, or get over you with the fine print, Scorpio. I do feel like there's a lot of recognition that's going to be coming your way. For some of you, you could be working really hard at work. You could be some type of entertainer. You could be on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you know, um, doing your thing. But I feel like there's some recognition that is going to be coming through. You got to make sure that you balance your energy because I keep getting this feeling of being overwhelmed, like I'm taking on too much or I'm dealing with too much. So if you are trying to build up and I know how it is because I tend to be a workaholic when there's a goal that I need to complete if you are moving towards something make sure that you are getting your your rest that you're taking care of yourself that you're not just putting everything in on trying to get whatever it is accomplished um spirit is talking about balance I do feel like that you're working for something that is going to be major a lot of you got opportunities coming in with a job where you're trying to prove yourself. Maybe you just got hired on to something. You're like, okay, I'm going to work and show these people what I can do. Some of you, you may have some type of settlement or something that you've been really pushing through, you know, getting the paperwork, maybe delays are over and you're really trying to get things to follow through on that. But I feel like there's money that's going to be coming to you guys, whether this is a job opportunity or um, something with a settlement for a few of you this could even be some type of loan where you're starting entrepreneurship and you're taking a loan out but i feel like there's money that is coming um i get a lot of excitement with some things that are about to pop off with you i will say be really careful about sharing your news with everyone some of you i feel like that there is going to be um issues with deception um there could be somebody that, oh, you know, I'm getting this job promotion or whatever. And they're like, okay, you know, I'm having a hard time paying my rent. Can you loan me some money? 
some i feel like you may have people that even try to steal your ideas and try to make something there so i will say whatever you're working on keep it close to you don't really put it out there until you accomplish maybe 95 percent of it or literally until you know you sign whatever needs to be signed I definitely get a need for independence, so I think some of you are going to be starting some type of project that you're working on that brings in more money. Um, be careful of addictions, taking your money. This could be anything like food, door dashing, um, you know, substances that you're, you're buying. Some of you, I feel like that you're taking something to work harder, um, and it could be causing issues with your health. I'm not going to say it's detrimental to your health, but if it's something that where you're like taking some type of something that has a little bit of a speed or a kick to it, like right now I'm drinking coffee. So maybe you're getting something that makes you work a little bit harder. Um, Spirit is saying, be really careful that you watch your money or you're spending with it, or it could be um, an addiction that gets out of control. For a few, I'm definitely getting some issue with maybe dealing with someone that has addictions and maybe they're distracting you. Um, you could be working hard because maybe you do have somebody that's going through something really, really bad with substances or this could be even food. This could be gambling and maybe you're trying to help them. Some of you could be trying to pay for some type of treatment center for this person. I feel like if you do um, have someone that you're dealing with, with addiction, some of you may not completely know, but I feel like whatever's done in the dark Scorpio is going to come to light, whether this is you or somebody else you're dealing with. I feel like there's going to be some illumination on a problem that you may have to deal with. And for some of you, it could be a family member. It could end up being children. Um, it could be an intervention for you. But I feel like whatever it is, there's something that comes to light. Um, a few of you may be having someone who transitions. Now, I'm not sure if this is applied towards the addiction part. And I really don't read on death. But I feel like whether this is somebody who's going away for treatment or someone who's sick because they're dealing with some issues, um, there's some of you are going to have to deal with this. And there's going to be some emotional pain with disconnecting from this person for whatever time because they feel I feel like there is spirit of saying, Somebody needs to leave so that either you can change or they can change. I feel like there's definitely something with travel coming in. This could be even getting a new vehicle, but I feel like the road is open for you guys. So if you've been stagnant, feeling like you've been hitting a wall, I feel like you have some things that are going to be coming in with um, your road opening. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I definitely feel a move towards something with stability. There's excitement. So I don't want this to feel like a heavy reading because I feel like you have something that really is exciting that's coming through, but you may have to walk away from some things that have been holding you back. Um, some of you are letting go of some bad habits. Some of you are letting go of some people with some bad habits so that you can move forward. All right, we have Eight of Cups. We have the Fool card. Something not working out the way you want and wanting to take a leap of faith. Ten of Wands, that being overwhelmed, needing your balance. The Chariot card moving forward. Some of you could be getting a new vehicle. Spirit. We have the Seven of Coins. This could be starting a job, but trying to have, needing to manage your money a little bit better. The Tower card, if you're self-employed, some of you may be having some issues with your business. We got the death card. There could be, like I told you, some type of transition or transformation transformation that is happening. But the sun card is showing whatever it is is necessary. Thank you, spirit. We have ace of cups. New love. The hangman. Maybe somebody is dragging their heels a little bit with love, Scorpio. Six of coins. Somebody may be more focused on money than love this coming month see the will of fortune the six of coins could also be a bonus a settlement or something that's coming through the high priestess intuition and the world card travel wow scorpio let me see what the last one is and being excited the page of wands good news coming in about an adventure so some of you are going to be starting something like i said i feel really really good about it and it looks like that you may have some money that's going to come in and help you with this all right Hold on just a moment. Mm. All right. 
This is the time, spirit, this one is going through. This one is going through. Scorpio will get this reading. They will receive this reading. Everything will be good. The messages that need to come out will come out. Aye, Bobo. All right. So the first thing that we got is Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups sometimes, and let me put it right up there. Eight of Cups sometimes, to me, when I look at this card, is um, depression. A lot of times when you read it, it's things not working out the way you want and the feeling of, oh, I need to walk forward. I need to move on. I need to let something go. Some of you are coming to this situation, whether this is with a job, with people around you. I'm not happy with this situation. It's not fulfilling me. It's not bringing me what I need. And I feel like there's some changes that need to happen in my life. Whether this is getting things spring cleaning and throwing things out, whether this is talking to people and realizing that we're not on the same page, or like I said, leaving a job where there's no more growth there. There's this feeling of, I don't want to put energy into this anymore. I just don't want to put energy into it anymore. And it could be that some of you are feeling like energy is being sucked out of you. Maybe you're dealing with a relationship where it's like, man, it's unreciprocated. I just don't feel like I have the strength to do this anymore. This could even be that job where you're going in the parking lot and you're sitting in your car for 10, 15 minutes trying to make yourself go into the building because you don't want to be there. So if we look at this card, there's a doorway and there's a path that's illuminated, which means that this person is not trapped in this energy or this feeling. That's why they feel like I can walk away. I can move forward. And they could be turning their back on a lot of things that just don't work for them. Now, the moon is shining on this path and it's going down towards some water. But I feel like this is something with enlightenment for some of you. This is a change of perception. This is a feeling of, I want to do something different. And it's night and day. She turned around. She has all these dishes and everything piled up. And it just seems chaotic and 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 dirty and messy. And when she looks out the door, there's a clear path and it's clean. It's easy. So some of you may be walking away from something that seems really difficult in your life. I don't want to put energy into it. I don't feel like it connects with me anymore. With the fool card, this is someone who's saying, I'm ready to do something different. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit excited, but it's time to go ahead and make this change. So I feel that there's opportunities that are coming in for some of you with the world card. This could be relocating. This could be packing up and moving. This could be getting a job somewhere um, that's in a different city, a different state, possibly a different country. So you're going to feel some things that come through, Scorpio, where I feel like there's this fear. And the great thing about it, you guys, is I don't see the Eight of Swords holding you back. Eight of Swords would be self-imposed bondage. I can't do it. I'm not worthy enough to do it. I'm not strong enough to do it. I'm just going to stay here because I'm scared. I don't get that. The fool card is like, I want to make a change. And it's because somebody has come to the place where what they were doing isn't working for them anymore. And they made a decision. I'm going to go ahead and take this leap of faith. Now, you may be doing this because of something not working out with other people in your life. But for a few of you, we definitely get this thing of being overwhelmed, ten of wands, I got too much, I'm burdened. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is not your shit. You could be dealing with other people's shit. Well, my mom needs me this weekend. My kids need me to pick them up on this day. My boss is asking me to go ahead and finish up this you know, project. The person that I'm dating is like, they don't spend enough time with me. And I, I feel like there's just this thing of over being overwhelmed. This could be somebody who's working, going to school, trying to take care of their family, and they just feel pulled thin with the things that are going on around them. So some of you may be in this energy where it's like, I don't want to feel like this. I need to find some balance. And I feel because of this energy, a lot of you are making that decision with the full card and the chariot to move forward. If you look in the background of the chariot, we got these men just walking to work with their briefcases and their heads are down. And it's because I'm tired of the same old, same old. I'm tired of the same energy. So for a lot of you, you're walking away from something that seems to just be routine. It's almost like blindly walking. You know, I, I do this every day. I get up, I brush my teeth, I make my coffee, I get dressed for work. And whether I'm going to sit at my computer or whether I'm going into another building it may not be serving me right. It may be something that I need to go ahead and let go of. The chariot is definitely showing some type of movement forward. Now, with the chariot and the wheel of fortune, I feel like some of you, this could be even getting on the road. You could be a truck driver. You could be Uber, Lyft. You could be whatever taxi 
Um, you could be somebody who does some type of travel flight attendant or something. I feel like there's a lot of forward movement, whether this is for your job or some of you could be even do road trips. But I feel like there's a new vehicle that's coming in. If you are, um, you have a car or vehicle, make sure you get your maintenance and everything checked just because um, with the Wheel of Fortune on top of the death card, this could be something going on with something in the car that needs to be looked at. And it could be why some of you may be getting a newer vehicle because of an issue. But I definitely see something with the chariot and the full card moving forward. Now, for a few of you, with the seven of coins, there could be some worries about money. Some of you may be entrepreneurs. Some of you may even be thinking about starting some type of business. But this is showing using your skill set or using what you have to make money. Some of you, um, you're too distracted with things that are going around you that you don't see the possibilities and the opportunities in front of you. Whenever you look at this card, and let me see if I can get the glare off of it, get it in here. You have a woman who is staring off into space and somebody's offering her all this money. And the dog is like, okay, look, 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 look. Don't you see this money in front of you? And she's like, I can't because her mind is somewhere else. It could be on problems that she's having to work out with other people. Maybe she's coming up with more ideas, but she's not utilizing the ideas that she has. So I will say, Scorpio, if you are self-employed, if you're working on a project, this is literally saying, get your priorities straight and focus on what's in front of you. Don't go off thinking about 15 other ideas that you could do that would have, could have, should have thing. Some of you, it's like live in the moment. What needs to be taken care of right now so that I bring in the necessary funds for me? What do I need to focus on right now so that my money is straight? Some of you could be sitting on top of money and maybe you're not promoting or marketing your business. If for a few of you, you could be spending your wills, working really hard, but maybe your focus or your priorities are a little bit off. So I will say if you're, if you're feeling like you're running in place with your business or with your job, this literally is kind of like, okay, put things on paper. Let's figure out what the priority is and let's deal with that first and then move on to something else. I feel like for some... If you're not putting the energy into a job or a business, you're going to see this tower card or this tower moment happen where things seem to be falling apart. Now, for some of you, with the death card coming behind of it, I feel like something drops or falls apart because there's a transformation that needs to happen. A lot of times when we see the death card, it reminds me of like a dead end road. Like I've gone as far as I can go with this. Now it's time for me to go ahead and do something different. The tower moment is literally something that gets your attention. Like pay attention. What what you doing? Wake up. It's almost in it. Lo a lot of people, I think, look at it as really detrimental. But I feel like with the tower card, this literally is like, what are you doing? Pay attention to what you need to. So for some, and with it being next to the death card, sometimes this is losing something so that you can see things clearly. There's a transformation that goes in. I do feel that some of you may be feeling hearing about a family member that is crossing over or who has transitioned. And my condolences, if you are going through that, um, I know 2020 was really hard for me with losing people. Um, but some of you could be dealing with this energy. This is literally something that's coming to an end, and I feel like it needs to come to an end for you to look at things with a different perspective. This could be a job. This could be a relationship. This could be losing someone. But Spirit is showing that with this, there is some type of rebirth that happens, whether this is you looking at things differently or things shifting in your life for the better. We have the Sun card that comes after this which is really great after death because it's showing, let me put it this way, it's showing after this, this ending, the sun card is bringing in some positive energy, something that maybe ended or needed to end because there was a new beginning that was coming in. The cards are completely different. With the death card, we kind of get like a little bit of an overcast. The sun is behind the trees, but it's not shining as bright as it is in the sun card. We have someone that is literally an older woman who is preparing a younger lady. Um, it's showing a transition of life, something that is ending its cycle versus something that is beginning its cycle. And then we have the sun card, which is showing how the energy is for you. So for a lot of you, if you're losing something this month, 
And it's very emotional because maybe you thought I can't do without it, whether it's a job, a person, friendship, family. You're going to realize that this is bringing a new perspective for you. Now, I feel for you guys that whatever this change is, it is going to be something that puts you on a path where there is still this movement of, you know, money coming in. Because we do see with the six of coins, we have something that is going to be paid to you. We have a woman in a fur coat and she's shopping and she has some things. This could be stimulus check number, what three are we on? The $1,400 one. This could be getting some type of financial aid. This could be a settlement or something that is coming to you if you've been waiting on some money. It's right next to the wheel of fortune. So it's showing that money comes in to help you move forward. So if there's a transformation where you're feeling like, oh my God, financially, I'm not making it. You know, things are not working out for me. I'm waiting for payments to come in. I'm waiting for this better job, especially with this hangman energy right there. It's like the hangman energy is coming in and it's like, okay, things are moving too slow. There's obstacles. There's no, there's no forward movement. What's going to happen? And then this is a letter, a phone call that comes in with that six of coins. You got the bonus. You got the settlement. You got the money that's coming in. So for some of you, it takes you from that energy of the hangman where all these people have their heads, their hands on their head. Like, what the fuck? What are we going to do? What are we going to do about this energy to this thing with the wheel of fortune where we have people that are lively, they're laughing, they're moving forward. And it's because something that they've been waiting for, especially when a payout comes in. So I will say that if you're dealing with an energy of something that seems stagnant, it's temporary, Scorpio. It's really temporary because it's showing with all these forward movement cards, the chariot, and then we have the world card, travel, the fool. We got things that are starting off for you where it's like, okay, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and maybe do some things, but it looks like it brings you into a really, really great energy. And with that sun card, it's a good energy to start off with. Because it's showing that you're moving towards some type of positive energy and it's a continuation. So this month, if you've been feeling really drained, really overworked and feeling like, oh my God, you know, what I thought I wanted, what I thought was going to work out for me is not going to work out. I got to move on. Don't worry about it. Don't stress about it because it looks like that you're moving on to something that's really, really good to a more positive energy. Now, for some of you, I definitely feel like there's going to be some travel that is coming in. This could be going to a different city, a different state. Some of you may even find yourself moving for love or somebody that is connected with you, moving to be closer to you. This could also be meeting someone who is of a different race or a different culture. Maybe they come from somewhere else and they move into your area or you're traveling and you meet them. But I definitely see a connection with a new love that could be coming in for you guys now. I will say, with the high priestess right under it, you could be connecting with somebody who's spiritual. You could be very spiritual. You could be very intuitive. But I feel like there's going to be a connection. For some, I feel even though I don't see the Six of Cups, which a lot of people look at as soulmate, I always look at the Two of Cups as soulmate for me. But for some of you, I feel like there's a soulmate connection. Hold on. Let me see. Let me grab my other cards and verify, clarify, spirit, clarify this high priestess, what is this high priestess doing, Scorpio, 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 spirit, Scorpio, 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 you definitely have some love vibes coming in, so let's see, oh, spiritual journey, Feeling overwhelmed, spiritual mentor. Oh, okay. Hold up. Look at me. I'm being nosy now. We got new beginnings, education, strength card, and we're dealing with something with addictions too. Hold up, you guys. Let me get this out the way. Can't text. All right, so. High priestess, we get spiritual journey that comes on top of this person. We also get spiritual mentor. So we have some type of opportunity and we got spirit communication. Some of you, there's major spiritual growth that looks like comes in with the high priestess. Maybe you're looking at things differently. You're seeing things differently. Um, this could even be gifts that are opening up. Um, your ears may be ringing. You may be seeing things out the corner of your eye. 
but I feel like there is definitely some type of communication that comes in. And some of you may be meeting someone that shares your belief in this. Now, of course, not everybody will, but some of you, I feel like there's going to be a connection with someone where it's like, I get you. This could be meeting someone who opens up something for you. Now we got the world card and then we got spiritual journey. So some of you literally could be planning some type of trip or vacation where you're going somewhere where you could be connecting with a spiritual mentor or a person that opens something up with you. Remember I said it could be a person of a different race, different culture, possibly even different spiritual belief or a belief system that connects to you. Now, we did get job opportunity with the high priestess on top of this world card too. So there may even be some travel that's going in for a job. We did get the overwhelm, which we saw with the 10 of swords, but we got illness on top of it. So remember when I told you guys, you definitely need to balance because you could have some issues that are going to be affecting you, especially if you're overworking, overworking, overworking. I will say that there is something that is coming in with a love connection. Um, and this could be with the high priestess and the spiritual mentor. This could be meeting somebody where there is some type of spiritual soul tie to this. Let me see if there's a soulmate. Where's the soulmate at? We got jealousy. We got new love. And who is this new love to you? temptation some of you could be already in a relationship when this person comes in and you could end up meeting them somewhere yeah we got new love feeling trapped and then we got soulmate connection so some of you literally could be going somewhere um on a spiritual journey on a trip or you could have somebody who may be traveling your way and there's a connection with the high priestess and the spiritual mentor but there could be some situation where you're in a relationship or the other person's in a relationship. I will say that we got some changes that are coming in and they seem to be positive. But when it comes to this love thing, you guys, please, please, please take your time. I don't necessarily feel like this person is um, happy in a situation if they're married or in a relationship, but that, you know, you got to get in where you fit in with that. Um, so I do feel like you may end up meeting someone and maybe they're still attached. Maybe they're getting a divorce or whatever. So no judgment, you know, you're all adults. If you connect with someone, some of you, there's going to be some type of spiritual growth that happens with this person because it needs to, and it could be a soulmate connection. I do feel like if you've been dealing with stagnation, you guys are going to be moving forward because you feel like there's nothing else for me here. I need to push things forward. I need to move forward so that I can get this more positive energy. And I feel like you know it's coming, Scorpio. So if you've been dealing with dead-end relationships, jobs, friendships, even what you're dealing with your family, I feel like that you're going to be moving on from that. It's like, I, I don't like this anymore. It's not serving me anymore. Some of you definitely are going to be in a better position with money. There's money opportunities coming in, whether this is a bonus, whether this is getting some type of promotion um or a settlement and i keep getting something with legal with this you guys so i feel like there may be some even legal settlement where this could be a car accident or maybe there was some disability or something that needs to be paid to you but i feel like you have a check that's going to be coming in that actually helps with your new start with this full card starting something new taking a leap of faith and it seems to be really really positive you guys so i don't know what changed in that message from the other one because i haven't listened to it but I feel like there's some growth that's coming in, but it's coming in after a tower moment and something not working out and feeling like, okay, I can't do this anymore. If you're having any issues with your um, home, your foundation cracks, pipes, anything like that, make sure, um, keep an eye out for it, call a professional, because I do feel like some problems with a home. Um, there's some changes that are going to be coming in when it comes to your your perspective on things and i feel like these changes are something that may be needed with the death card some of you are caught in a cycle with that hangman and spirit is like let's not do this anymore let's look at it for what it is and let's move forward scorpio let me see especially if you're dealing with an abusive relationship whether this is somebody who speaks um, they're verbally, emotionally, or physically abusive. Some of you, I feel that you may be looking at a relationship in a way of, I don't want to walk away from it, but I need to walk away. And it could be why spirit is bringing you towards 
somebody that is spiritual or a very soulmate connection where you can get with this person. Definitely get something with drugs, addicts, addiction. So whether this is you, spirit is showing some type of recovery with a person, but it looks like that there needs to be some type of space. Um, somebody could even be losing their job because of an addiction. But I'm getting spirit is showing something that comes to the end so that it can be reborn. Let me see. Now I'm just being nosy, Scorpio, just because I've done this so much. I'm definitely getting some type of healing that's coming in with addictions. So whether this is you or someone else, it looks like somebody's going to try to get some help. We do have relocating for a job or changing places where there's a new home and a new start that's going to be there. You're going to have a few people that are going to try to stop you from doing it, but it looks like you have some type of settlement or money coming in where you're like, okay, all I've been doing is waiting for my money to come so I can move forward. So you guys spend it wisely. I mean, I feel like there's money coming in. Um, it may not, um, I don't want to say, how can I put it? Be smart with it. Be smart with it. I feel like some of you already have bills and stuff that it's like, okay, I've been waiting for this money so I can pay this stuff up. But I will say, take care of what you need to take care of. Put some money to the side just in case you have some car issues or some house issues that are coming in. Could be a minor, minor problem, but I just feel put that money to the side if you have extra money. When it comes to love, take your time with it. You're meeting somebody that's going to bring something out in you. There's a lot of spiritual growth with this person. But there's also a lot of triggering and healing that needs to be done. So when you come across this person, I will say don't be so close. Uh, don't don't shut it down too quick because I get an intensity with it. And that could be with soulmate, soulmate connection. Somebody comes in, they know you, they make you feel a certain way. But I get an intensity because there's some things that need to be fixed. There's something that is triggered with it. And it may cause you to um, have that tower moment before something is healed. All right, you guys, I think that is it. I really do. And I hope this one posts. I hope because I tried to cover everything that came to me this time. So, and I even went to different cards to be nosy to make sure that I gave the message. I almost feel like I want to pull a major arcana just to see if there's something I missed. Scorpio, Scorpio. I don't even want to take no chances, Scorpio. Scorpio, 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 what's going on with Scorpio spirit? Any messages, any guidance? Any messages, any guidance? Chariot card keeps coming out. Let me see. The hangman, the devil obsessions, the star card, the tower card, the sun card, the death card, the world card. What the fuck? The lovers, high priestess, and strength. Y'all, literally. Tower. Death. Let me see. The sun. The world. High priestess is the final message. The last, almost the same, um, the same cycle. So could be meeting someone for sure with the lover's card. And it looks like there's a decision that may be coming in. There's a tower moment that starts something over for you. And the death card is definitely transformation. Same message, transformation, endings, rebirth, the sun card, high priestess, use your discernment, do, use your intuition with this, uh, with this decision that is coming. But I feel like with the sun card, whatever you decide is gonna take you to that next level because we have the chariot first. Lord have mercy. Scorpio, let me know in the messages what's going on. I love you guys. Thank you for being patient with me.